Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated economist here. So you guys keeping an eye on them U.S. Treasury yields? Oh my gosh, we are getting closer and closer to that flattening yield curve. There is now less than 50 basis point difference between a one-month Treasury and a 30-year Treasury. Um, and if you're not familiar with basis points, what a basis point is is 0 0.01 of a percentage point. Okay, so if you have 50 basis point, that is basically a half a percentage point. And that is what separates the one-month treasury and the 30-year treasury bond. So, yeah, um, a half a percentage point is what separates this. There is actually an inversion going on right now between the one-month and the three-month. So the one-month and the two-month are paying the same yield, and the three-month is paying just slightly less. I think it's uh, one basis point less. Not a huge inversion, but it is definitely an inversion between the one-month and the three-month. And then there's another inversion between the one year and the seven year, if you can believe that. So we are very, very close to that uh, two year and 10 year treasury. Um, you know, the, the tall tale sign that everybody's looking for is the, is the inversion between the two year and the 10 year. But we definitely have one going on between the one year and the seven year. And we have one going on between the one month and the three month. And so, yeah, keep your eyes on the treasury yields right now, guys. Um, They're just, it's, it's getting close. Um, you can smell it in the air. The Dow took a huge hit again today. Uh, gold and silver are starting to run a little bit. You can see you can see how they're starting to gain a lot more strength. People are flying into the uh, U.S. Treasuries right now because it's the only safe haven asset. So you know that's why that's why those interest rates are dropping. Um, and it's kind of interesting at the same time. I think honestly, as these interest rates are dropping on the long term and I honestly feel that the Fed is feeding into that at the same time because they're trying to unload their asset sheets, what is a, which is a bunch of these bonds. So anyway, um, I think a lot more news will probably come out about this in the next you know couple of days. Probably next week we're going to see a lot more, a um, lot more talk about these uh, about these bond yields. But yeah, keep your eye on the Treasuries. Talk to you later.